Well, it's our first day with our new Osmo Action camera. Scott went a little crazy this Christmas and we've got all kinds of new stuff. And we're heading down to, well first we're gonna go to the grocery store, pick up a few things, because tomorrow we're taking the family out boating. So it'll be exciting. You excited? I am excited. This is cool. So this is a, a Osmo Action, you said? Mm -hmm. And then he also bought an Osmo Pocket. Okay. And this camera, the Osmo Action, is like a GoPro and it's waterproof so we can put it in water and jump in the water and um, and we still have our GoPro too. So we'll see um, how this works. Happy New Year. Check this out. Northwest Yachting Magazine, which is a local publication, their editor Norris included us in their New Year's resolutions for boating. Check it out. So here we are, boating resolutions. This is what this episode's about. We're going to tell you everything we're going to do this year. And when you flip the page, here it is, live aboard lifestyles, and it talks about our story. Are we live aboards yet? No, we're in this condo, but we're working there. So. Follow along today and we'll tell you all about what we're going to do this year. So one of our resolutions for 2020 is to actually produce better videos. Um, part of that is getting better equipment. So Santa Claus was really nice to Allie this year. Um, we got our drone, so we're going to have a drone this year. We got the Mavic Air. Can't wait to start practicing with it, seeing what we can do with it. We updated our little pocket cam. This is a DJ, DJI Osmo action camera, so we're looking forward to seeing how this works out for us. We also got a little pocket cam from DJI. God, that's a tough one to say. I always want to say DG, but it's DJ. Um, so this is going to be great. This has got a, a, a nice gimbal on it does the 4K video and should be able to be a lot more portable and we can take it places where we don't necessarily want to take our um, you know big 35 millimeter. Um, this just fits right in your pocket and we should be good to go. So uh, can't wait to see what kind of video it produces and I'm sure you can't either. Look at that, I just turned on the camera with my voice and said start recording, that's cool. So then I'm guessing you can also stop when you say that command. So far, this is a pretty cool camera and I've only used it for five minutes. <laughs> I like that you're using both hands to hold it. <laughs> well, my hand, arm gets sore. Well, won't they both get sore if you're using both hands? <laughs> this way you can lose the pitch. Be nice if it had if you just uh, but it went off again. This is a dumb camera. Is the battery is it not charged? Is it stopping? No, it's still recording. The, the display has gone off. Oh, it has? Yeah. Oh, well, then how do you know what you're recording? Well, generally, if you're pointing, well, you don't want the display to go off because I don't know. Maybe if you touch the display there. Oh, oh, see, it's saving battery by doing that. Well, yeah, but it's hard to record without seeing what you're recording. Well, then just touch the screen. Oh. Well, now you're going to have something going into the... Mm -hmm. First time we've been on the boat in two and a half months. That was fun today. Mm -hmm. We went out on the sound and we took your brother and your other brother and his wife. And we came back and we drank wine during the day. and Day had... drinking. Can't go wrong. We had fresh crab and fresh shrimp and uh, we're gonna stay on the boat tonight and it's December 28th when most and it's cold it's probably the high tonight it's gonna be 40 but mm. we're, we're toasty yep. oh it's toasty nice side yeah yeah we just filled up with water so we just talked about uh, earlier today that we were in Northwest Yachting Magazine mm -hmm. and we talked about boating resolutions so let's go over what are we gonna do next year we're gonna do something we've got to make it up if you watched the previous episode to this, probably the worst YouTube video we've ever done. <laughs> we forgot the intro. 
is a little tinny. We're in the we were we filmed in the rain. Yeah. Using my telephone. We tried to get it out very quickly, and <laughs> it, it, uh, sorry. Oh my god! It, it was just, and then the. Oh, anyways, it had it had issues. Watch it, and you'll see. Watch it. But as you're seeing now from today's video, we got all new equipment, the mm -hmm. drone, we've got Osmo Action, Osmo Pocket. Pocket. We're going to use our Canon that we bought a year ago. Yep, that's we're what we're using right now to film. We're going to try and get away from my Android phone camera and really make it more beneficial. So mm -hmm. what we asked ourselves is if we were other boaters, specifically in the Puget Sound, but even boaters in general, and maybe you also own a Bayliner 4087, what would you want to watch? What, what do you want to know? And we thought, well, let's go over kind of our resolution. So mm -hmm. um, like many people, our first one is to save money. We really got to cut back if we're going to make the, the jump to live aboard and or outside of or just cruising full time. Yeah, we definitely this is the year that we have to really cut back, start saving and um, make those sacrifices needed in order to to lack of a better word, cut the line. Yeah, I think. Well, and we've done a lot more than than most. Right. We've sold our business. We sold our home. We moved into an apartment, which was outrageously expensive. We've since moved into another condo, which is significantly cheaper. But we also didn't expect to have a mortgage and a yacht uh, payment. Mm -hmm. So uh, we never plan on living on this one. It'd be tight, but we could certainly do it. So that's one of the second... We know some of you sailors out there live on a boat that's smaller than yeah. ours. So... So our goal is to save money and we're going to go through a couple, we're going to try and live like cruisers here in Seattle, if you can imagine. Over the next few episodes, we'll show you what it's like to try and live on $13 a day. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it works. Our second goal is to find a liveaboard slip. I don't know if it's yeah, possible. It's tough here in the Northwest to find one that is still relatively convenient to work. We both work downtown Seattle. There's only one marina really in downtown Seattle. That's where we are right now. Um, but they no longer offer live aboard slips. We're still trying to work that deal, but I, think it's uh, gonna I don't think it's gonna happen in this marina. So we do have another marina that we're on a wait list for, but they're saying that it could be eight to 10 years. We don't have that kind of time. So the ones that we can get into that are relatively quick are anywhere from 20 to 30 miles outside of the city, which is a little bit could be a two hour farther commute. than we want to go. Yeah, it could be a two so, hour commute each way. Yep, and so we'll see where that goes. But there are some smaller privately owned marinas that might only hold, you know, 10 to 30 boats that will offer liveaboard. So we need to find those. Those are harder to find. They're a little bit less advertised. They're more word of mouth. So we'll see. What and we if you know of any, shoot us an email because we're looking. Yep. So if we can't find a liveaboard, let's at least utilize this boat. This is a Bayliner 4087 motor yep. yacht. It's been to Alaska at least twice, if not three times. And so one of my, um, at least for me, and I think for you, uh, resolutions is let's venture, right? It, time is of the essence though. We don't have mm -hmm. a lot of time and I'm in the boating industry. So the summer is my busy season and we do a lot of boating adventures, but my plan is to take about nine to 10 days. Don't tell my boss yet in August to go venture north. We're going to go up to Roche Harbor, which you've never been mm -hmm. to, then maybe do like a little Susha and head into British Columbia. Finally, I want to be that cruiser that goes into another country and raises the quarantine flag and goes through the process. For some of the Puget Sound cruisers, it's like every day. They do it every weekend, but mm -hmm. we've never done it. So that's yep. going to be kind of one of our cool things that we'll do and we won't do it till the end of the end of the summer. Our fourth resolution is to anchor overnight in this boat before we go on our trip to British Virgin Islands, mm -hmm. which is at the end of April. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we're gonna do a bare boat charter with friends of ours. They've never really anchored overnight or mooring bald. So um, we're gonna do a little bit of practice that with that and between now and the end of April when we take our trip. So hopefully over a weekend or two that uh, we get that practice of pulling up to a mooring ball, navigating to the captain and, and the person who's out there on the bow um, and trying to figure out what the best way to pull up on a ball and the best way to tie off and or anchor. Yeah, I was um, gonna say, we might do one overnight. of both. So we'll try to squeeze in both in yep. case we can't find one um, when we uh, get down there. Our fifth resolution is, it sounds silly to, again to maybe some Puget Sound boaters, but for the last three years we've been boating and we've gone really mostly for the same places. We go to Kingston, we go to Polesbo, we go, we go. We're gonna go to three brand new places we've never been to before. So that could be south, that could be Olympia, mm -hmm. uh, that could be north, Port Townsend, and we might, we'll, and we'll be in a marina, but we've just, we have to pick three places we've never been to, minimum. Well, I mean, the trip's up to the San Juans in Canada. That doesn't well, count. Oh, that's, it has oh, to be totally three. That doesn't count, as no. far as I've been told. Yeah, so that's separate. <laughs> three new local ports oh, okay so instead of always doing kingston or instead of always going into bremerton let's pick or gig harbor i love those places mm -hmm. let's pick three brand new places that we've never been to okay so that's number five so it's up to you guys to hold us up to these five new resolutions <laughs> call us out on us you know, always ask questions, how we're doing, where we're doing, what we're doing to save money or produce better videos, what software we're using, so on and so forth. Uh, let us know what your questions are. Give us directions. Give us suggestions. So we're open. So our last resolution is to do some remodeling. It has to be within reason, right? We're trying to save money, so remodeling Remodeling does, and saving money don't they go don't hand fit. in. They don't, <laughs> they don't fit. But there's a few things that right off the bat we have to do. And we'll give we'll go through this little tour when it comes down to it. But the first thing we're gonna do, which is super easy, we'll probably do it in the next month, is a new sink. Our sink is Or at least a new faucet. The that's sink, what I meant. The I meant, sink I meant, is I meant, not the, I, meant, yeah. I meant faucet. Okay. <laughs> so we have this humongous faucet that only sits this far over the sink. Try to fit a pan in there. You're lucky if you get a skillet in or a plate. Certainly not getting a soup pan, which we're making soup tonight. So the faucet's gotta go. The sink is number two. I don't think it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. This boat has an original Formica dining table, but a granite new um, countertop. The sink is, okay, so any plumbers out there, we're open. We have a 22 inch by 14 inch by six inch double sink. We want a single sink. I have scoured the internet, cannot find one. Mm -mm cannot find one we found um which we'll show you there's another 4087 that dennis and yacht sold uh way back a while ago mm -hmm. and they remodeled this boat and the pictures are stunning new carpet hardwood floors amazing galley but they have a single sink but they put in new countertops and we're not going to do new countertops no no we have a granite replace, yeah. so we if you know anybody that has a 22 inch by 14 inch by six inch sink single we'll buy it so that's on the list the third item we'd like to do if it works is carpet our carpet is gross it's original it's yeah it's 17 almost 18 years old now and it just needs to be it just needs to be replaced so replaced. we we got to figure out a way that we could do it affordably we replaced the outdoor carpet last year right the cockpit part the cockpit but now we need to it's just it's starting to turn black and it's Berber. So that's, yeah. but it's not necessary for the safety of the boat. It would just be nice, mm -hmm. right? Strictly cosmetic. The fifth item that is probably the most important for the boat is the bimini top. As, as we haven't shown you and we will show you uh, later either in this episode or in episodes to come, we have about six to seven storage bins upstairs that collect rainwater. 
and that's to keep them off of all of our um bridge, the seats the, the equipment seats. the electronics and they fill up halfway and that's because the bimini is just a sip it's 17 years old probably so I, we think we could replace just the top yeah i think the top's all we need to do i mean yeah. the, the side canvas is okay the glass is good on the side canvas we would if we did we'd probably replace the side canvas but reuse the eyes and glass that's already there yeah. so we could save money that way not having to put in new panels so uh we just need to get a couple quotes some people out here this is the off season so maybe this is the time of year to do it when they're not so busy you know prior to all the boating shows that are coming up in january and february when everybody starts getting the itch so maybe if we can get somebody on the books before now or before then or if you um, know anyone recommend them we've got a few quotes obviously i'm in the boating business so we have a few companies that have been recommended mm -hmm. um but uh obviously we don't have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to replace the bimini so but we need to do it so that's probably the and most we don't have a sewing machine either so we can't make our own either oh, there's so. no way and sombrella that's a, that is one big piece yeah yeah so those are our five boating resolutions you know what i would be curious about is what are yours if you're a boater and you're here in the puget sound especially what are you going to do what it, share with us because maybe there's something we've missed we'd love to meet new boaters i know that's another mm -hmm. thing uh, we boat with kind of our same crew and we love them, but we we have to get out of our comfort zone and get out there more. And I think that's easier said than done for a lot of boaters. There are some that just, it's not an issue. We get up, they get up four in the morning and they start cruising. Today we were out on the bay and there were so many logs that I was like, oh my God, I would not do this in the dark. Oh no. So you just sound in some place you don't want to be I in the think dark. That, that I would like to learn from other boaters and and figure out kind of what makes it makes everybody click. So if right. you've got resolutions, I want you to share. 